kwanza mimi ni mkulima kwa mwema yangu. Kwa ni mimi ni mwalimu wa preschool na mimi ni chair lady ama ni kiongozi wa kikundi ambao kinaitwa Taiwaka. Na mimi ni kiongozi wa vikundi katika sub location yetu. Na mimi ni kiongozi katika kanisa na masaa mengi ninaitumia kwa kuwa na uongozi wa kanisa umuhimu wa maindi kwanza maindi ina chakula ambao ndio chakula muhimu kwa watu ambao niko nao na maindi tunauza wakati maindi imekuwa kwa wingi kwa shamba na hizi maindi siko na chakula ya ngombe hiyo ni muhimu na ile ngombe ikula ile mafi inatoa ni faida tena tunarudisha kwa shamba ndio mchanga uwe na lutfa kwa hivyo maindi na faida nyingi kwetu sababu huwa na maindi unakuwa na taapiga in the subsistence farming and in semi arid areas 90% of the population rely on the informal seed system that means the farmers get seed from their own seed they save their own seed because in these we use mostly open pollinated varieties and these are varieties that actually self perpetuate themselves so the farmers select their own seed they can get the seed from a neighbor who had a good crop uh, some of the farmers will sell this uh, grain to grain stores and the green stores will sell this grain to other farmers as good as good quality seed okay first of all before we go to the yield we can say that we have got maize pana for m which is actually early maturing which is very preferable for this place in the high potential areas that receive modern tree better rainfall the farmers will assess their seed through the formal seed system and basically like for maize they will get hybrid seed and hybrid seed is seed produced by seed companies and after farmer plants farmer cannot use that seed again to plant but it has to go back to the stockists uh, the people who sell seed and buy a fresh seed supply The formal system is very important in seed uh, production in that it's a sure way of starting off with quality planting material and it's a sure way of reducing risks of failure and in this kind of environment this tropical environment there are so many obstacles to achieving high yield we are talking of droughts we are talking of uh, of uh, low purchasing capacity of the farmers they are not able to buy various agro inputs like fertilizers we are we are having a lot of problems in terms of uh, even the markets for the produce so if you don't start with you start with the quality seed already you are adding burden and increasing the risk of failure in the farming activity if that happens then uh, the farmer is pushed to the the poverty cycle which will force them now to maybe depend on other sources like the government and other international bodies in terms of food relief 
and that is very bad because now the farmer now will be just be surviving from hand to mouth. In the informal seed, um, the problem is that the quality is not assured. But of course, through indigenous knowledge, the farmers have known how to handle the quality issues. But the problem is not uh, a sure way. One, one cannot confirm, but at least in the seed certification system, there's an independent body that can independently verify the quality of the seed. Begunzuri ni ile kwamba imeza mapema. Na ile mbegu ambao ineza mazao ambao haina ugonjwa. Sababu kichagua mbegu ikiwa na ugonjwa, hiyo ugonjwa wanaendeleza tu yendele na kuwa kwa, kwa mbegu zako. Kwa hivyo hiyo mbegu zuri ya maindi, inakufanya next season uwe na mbegu zuri. Na maoni yangu katika hizo mbegu ya kuchukua hata babu hizo mbegu siku si tunahifadhi kama wakulima na sababu haya wanini wawecho wakachukua hizo zetu sababu siko wale wakulima wanalima hizo mbegu The ministry took a strong stand and uh, insisted on having the informal system well taken care of in the law yeah uh, but then uh, after that, of course, the lobbying by the companies played a big role in uh, slowing the process of uh, enactment. Many seed companies were reluctant to have the informal uh, seed system included in the revised version of the law. And uh, the reason is uh, maybe because of the anticipated competition from the informal sector in, in the market. Yeah. Because they were seeing that now, that informal system, if it's well organized, then it's going to eat into their market share. Kwanza, kutoka kwa hiyo mashida, shida moja ni, uwezi ukapati wa farmet ati wendo, kwa uzo babu haa kama kari wako. Hiyo ni project zima. Na itaki ingiliwe. Uh, shida ile ingine ni kwanza hawa wa, wa, wako wa government wanajua sasa ni kipereka hizo mbegu zangu hiyo zao itakuwa haina faida. And uh, this is also has proven to be also a good The multinational companies they have been influencing even the making of the, of, of the policies they have been influencing the making of uh, the regulations, and as a result, I think this country has more or less gone towards the formal seed sector, but they have virtually like ignored the informal seed sector, which produces most of the seed that we use. The implication is that they continue to use bad seed, and we continue to have less production, and therefore the country continues to be food insecure. The international institutions play a big role in shaping um, uh, the seed policy in the country in that uh, we are trading with them. So some of the standards set in the international world affect us and you have to adopt them in our policy. Another thing is when it comes to setting of the standards, like for example you have UPOV setting the procedures due to the variety testing and uh, brand breeders uh, rights protection. The changes in those organizations influence us directly. Each time there are changes, we have to adopt those changes by uh, amending our legal framework and policies. So, what we learned was that the truth is 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 that the Informal, si informal. Kwa hivyo atu, atu, atu ta kuenda pandi yao, ta kuwa atu tu kona hizi mbegu zetu. The farmers in the informal city system, 
to me i think they would rather be there working um to produce seed in the informal seed system rather than trying to move them from the informal to the formal seed system the farmers themselves have got their own informal system of multiplying and distributing that within their system so maybe there might be a danger trying to change a system that has worked for time immemorial by introducing other things into that self-driven system that the farmers use. The only other way is to interface. The farmers who are good at seed production, seed bulking, those farmers become contract growers of the seed companies. Then the seed companies would pick the seed from the contract seed growers, and then the seed companies would be able to do best what they do, and they have the resources to do the marketing. It is important that uh, we support the informal seed sector to drive in the direction of having that farming activity as a business. And the only way of doing that is by having quality seed available to them. So even as they struggle at their level to be able to get quality seed, it will be good if the government bodies and, uh, and various institutions that are concerned to support them so that they can grow out of that cocoon of subsistence. Otherwise, by maintaining informal seed system, we are maintaining subsistence farming. The future of the seed sector, particularly here in Kenya, I think lies in where they have got to integrate both the informal seed sector together with the formal seed sector. And this can only be done by the researchers, that is the public institutions, particularly the research, institu research uh, uh, stations, coming down to the communities and be able to initiate the production of the standard seed, which will then be able to actually stimulate the production towards the formal seed sector. And the standard seed is not necessarily certified seed, but is seed that is actually better than the informal seed which actually is produced locally without any improvements. You know, the standard seed will give them better yields and they will be able probably to sell and have enough food uh, within their homes and their livelihoods will actually improve. Kwa hivyo ningeuliza wote wanauziga na mbegu kama mahindi wangefanya tuwa na watu wa seed selector wawa kwa kijiji kutoka chini sababu sirikali haifikii ule mwana inji wa chini kama tungepato wa saidisi ugeona watu wengi ama tungepato wa saidisi tuka tundisha watu kuhibadhi hizi mbegu hizi mbegu ya maindi wesi ikaisha kwa watu wetu